good morning and welcome to the channel. So uh, I'm chilly this morning. I don't know why I keep rubbing my hands because my hands are cold. And so anyway, uh, I found this bag full of metal stuff. Um, I think this was a bag that I got in because um, I had gotten a couple boxes from Saw, uh, Saw Crafters or Shell Creations or uh, I don't honestly remember the name of the channel, but she was like um, retiring or discontinuing her line or something along that line. And she was selling all her products, basically. Anyway, um, and she was selling like giant flat rate boxes. And she's been doing it for like the past a year and a half or two. Because, I mean, she had a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I'd never bought from her before. And I only bought uh, this one time. And I think I got like two two or three boxes I don't remember anyway this was in one of them and so I wanted to see if maybe I could do something with the cover of the journal so I'm going to dump this out real quick because this is kind of loud it's it's in a plastic bag that got ripped and so instead of dumping it into the new bag what did I do I just put the whole thing in a new bag so I'm just going to dump it out real quick, so be prepared. Okay, that wasn't so terrible, I think. Um, but there is all kinds of pieces in here. Um, there's some little pieces that didn't come out. So I'm just going to set that aside so we're not messing with that again. Um, some of them are kind of Bent. these are a little thinner but these are white and I think that might look good what do you think and I can just bend them the opposite direction that's pretty and with our flat hey yo and with our flower not our flower but our heart right in the middle Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and adhere those onto the cover. That way it'll give it plenty of time to dry. Um, so really I didn't need to dump all that out, did I? Hmm. Uh, I'm going to grab a bag that's a little less noisy. So I got these bags from um, clearbags.com and I get my bags from various places. I've gotten them from Amazon, I've gotten them from Clearbags, I've gotten them from Paper Mart. Paper Mart is actually my go-to um, because sometimes they'll have things that Clearbags doesn't have, um, like envelopes for one. And it's just easier to make one purchase than multiple purchases, I think. Okay, so that bag's not nearly as loud. It's still a little crinkly, but it's not so bad. I'm going to tape it because it doesn't have uh, these particular bags. They are softer, but they don't have the I'm going to seal myself part whatever that is. Okay, so I can throw this in the garbage. Alright, let's see if we can grab our E612 in here. And there. Ow. I just need my trimmer underneath my desk. Alright, so I might use that and then, I don't know which one of these is open. One of them is open, I think. Then again, it may not be. What did I do with the one that was open? I thought I put it back in here. I guess not. Well, it's somewhere. I'm just going to open this one. Boop. All right. And this is just a little toolkit that came along with the uh, 
with the purchase of the teeny tiny E6000s. And I got it from Amazon. All right, so let's spin this slightly the other direction. There we go. Mm -hmm, that's okay. All right. And I can zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing. Wrong direction. And it doesn't necessarily need to be in every single corner or crevice and whatnot. It just needs to be on the major points that will keep it adhered to the page. In this particular wall might be a little too big. and do the other one. This side's a little bit smaller than this one. Can you see the difference maybe? Press the view. So how are you guys doing? I am doing fantastic. woke up today and weighed myself like I do every day. Lost some more weight, which is great. I'm wearing a shirt that I bought on clearance one day quite a few years ago. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but like buy it in hopes that you'll be able to wear it one day because it's like 50 cents. Yeah, and I'm, I'm wearing it right now. It's kind of crazy. So uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the brand Torrid, T-O-R-R-I-D. Uh, it's for bigger girls and it's like, it's a shop that I would frequently buy my clothes from and shoes and you know, whatnot because they, because um, I have, I used to think I had wide feet, but then I met my husband. My husband has wide feet. But anyway, so I do have wide feet and um, it's easier to find shoes that fit me, that are stylish and pretty and whatnot um, through Tori. Anyway, so they have a unique sizing method. Um, they do their sizes, you know, the traditional eight, nine, 10, 12, whatever. But they also have a sizing method that's like zero, one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. And I don't know if it's like a psychological thing because um, like when you see that you have a smaller size, it makes you feel good, you know? So I don't know if it's like a psychological thing or what. I think I'm just going to put my book on this when I'm done. Cause I, and I don't know what happened to my, oh yes I do, my little clips. They're right here. So anyway, um, I was a size 2 in, through Torrid's um, unique sizing methods and this shirt that I bought 
I've never been able to wear a size one in anything that they buy or that they sell. Because a size two is like an 18, 20, and a size one is more like a 14, 16 range. And um, the shirt that I'm wearing right now is a size one. So I'm like, I'm super ecstatic. I'm like, what? This is crazy. I've never been able to wear a size one. Not since I found Tori a long time ago. And I actually found them um, when we lived in Hawaii. Uh, one of my neighbors, she was a, she was a bigger girl. And uh, she introduced me to it. And I fell in love with it. It was awesome. It's kind of like... Um, the style is kind of like Hot Topic, but for bigger girls. If that gives you an idea of the stylization. But, um, I don't know, I was, I was pretty aesthetic. I actually, I told Wayne the other day, I was like, I need new drawers. And he just looked at me funny. He's like, why? You have a ton. I was like, yeah, I just put half of them in the Goodwill box. And he's like, oh. But that's a good thing, right? I was like, well, yeah, it is. But, and I mean, I think that that's only the first step because soon enough, I do have some clothes that are smaller because, uh, you know, similar instances with this shirt. I would buy them because they were on sale or clearance or whatever in hopes that one day I would be able to wear them. So I do have some clothes that I can wear, um, but I'm not going to go out and buy a new wardrobe right now because I don't feel like I'm done. Um, I think before I start going out buying new clothes, I want to get under 200 and um, I know a lot of people don't talk about their weight because, you know, it's taboo or whatever. I don't really care because, you know, I am who I am and a number isn't going to define who I am. Um, now, it might make me feel better if I'm, you know, smaller, physically, I mean. And that was my goal starting into this. It wasn't about physical appearance. It was about um, feeling better physically um, and mentally for that matter. It wasn't about, you know, appearance, but just being confident with who I am. Um, that's always been a very big struggle of mine. I've never really been okay with who I am because my entire life I've had people judging me for this, that, or another, which I mean, I'm sure is the case for many people now that I'm, you know, getting out of my own head a little bit. Um, I'm sure that everyone has had that in some way, shape, or fashion in their life, you know, the unwanted judgment. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, I swallowed wrong. <clears throat> the unwanted judgment, the unwanted criticism, the helpful criticism that's really not helpful, it's more harmful. Um, the people that are, I'm just, you know, being honest. Yeah, well, your honesty is hurtful, dude. And it's not like, you know, we would prefer you to lie. That's not what I'm saying, but... Words hurt, man. Oh, maybe I should put this on too while this is over here sitting and drying. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to put something underneath it. Like I've got these giant doilies that I think would be really pretty. Oh, wait, let me zoom you back out. You are way far. Oh, yeah, that's the right way. Hello. You can see me. I have to adjust my camera. There we go. I think I zoomed out too far. Yeah, I think that's better. Perfect. Okay, so anyway, I have these really big doilies that I think would be really perfect. 
even if like you kind of off center it a little bit. And I have more than just that one. I've got a couple that aren't so big, like that one. That's pretty. Um, ooh, I also have, um, oh, where is it? I have this really pretty, um, I thought I put some of these aside for myself. I might have to go back and change my quantity because I really do want to keep some of these myself. Um, but I do have these, these ones on the shelf. But this one's got like a linen on the inside. I don't know. I think I like this darker one better. What do you guys think? All right. Well, I can put this back in here. Blah, get in there. Okay. So, I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, guess what came in the mail? Oh, art glitter glue. Now I just need a new pen. Like, that's fine. Um, now, I bought some stainless steel pins, and to test them out, I took, I took one, and I put it in a cup of water and let it sit for a couple days. And my husband's like, why is there a needle in a cup on our bathroom counter? It's like, it's not a needle, it's a pin. And because I bought these stainless steel pins, and they lied because there was one little spot on the pen that um, formed a rust circle or whatever. So I don't know, I have to, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak all of them and um, the ones that don't have that rusty outcome I can use but that's kind of on the back burner at the moment because I have a lot of stuff going on. Like I have to get this journal done. Once this journal is done, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do a Halloween journal this year. So I think I want to do a Thanksgiving journal, which I think would be a lot of fun. Hey. I actually think um, what I'm going to do is pull one of the autumn kits down and use the autumn kit to create the Thanksgiving journal. I think that would be really fun. And I've already sold a few of them, so it's not going to hurt anything for me to take one down. Okay. I guess I could have used um, hot glue, but it is on the cover. Oh, that is so pretty. And I like the, the contrast with, I made it really heavy, these clips. I like the contrast with the dark and the light. So let's load this bad boy up. My napkin order from Europe came in um, recently, and I'm really excited because I have some wintery things in there, and oh, I'm super excited to get those up for you guys and 
you know, keep some for myself so I can play with them. Yeah. So where's our big book? Our big book is over here. So I'm just going to put that right there. And it's not quite long enough to cover this one too. But I think I'd rather cover this one instead of this one. Because this is the one that was bent. The one on the bottom. So we're going to put our big book over here. Bloop. And let that dry. Okay. So... What our big book did yesterday was press our pocket on our vellum. And so it's all dry. Isn't that cool? Got a pocket there. Ah, so cool. Okay, so let's, oh, that goes there. And this dried as well. So that's what that looks like. And remember, these are just going to fold out so you can write on them. And so we're going to put that back where it goes. And then these guys are dry, our belly bands. But see, Fabri-Tac just doesn't stick to plastic. You can just pull it right off. Oh man, I think those turned out super cool. Okay, so we're not super chunky monkey yet. <laughs> yet. Okay. So now we also have some flower stickers that we can use to make them. Um, um, if we're going to add some more tags, because we have a couple cards. Oh, that's just an extra piece of paper. Oh, let me click off of OBS. Oh, I think I already did because I was messing with the camera. Okay. So we have a couple cards. And we have this guy. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this guy yet. Thinking. And there's a couple more cards. And our pockets. So we have two, three pockets and a belly band yet to add. And then we'll see what we've got from there. All right. So we've got a pocket there. Um, we don't have a pocket on this side. A belly band here. Nothing here. Pocket, pocket. Oh, that's another card. All right, so we've got a few pages with nothing on them. Um, I think this one would be a good one to do. We could do like a belly band on this side. I think that would be really pretty. The belly band here. And then... I don't know if I want to do a belly band and a pocket on the same one, though. We can add, like, little tucks and such as well, like little corner tucks or something. Oh, that'd be cute. I don't think this will fit, though, to have, like, a little pocket inside the folder. And I think the belly band might be too long as well. Like. 
I think I figured out. But it's too long. What do we do? Okay, let's see. There's a belly band here. But it is too long. So what I can do is I can glue it down, wait for it to dry, and then trim it. Because when I trim it, it will cut the threads. I can try to minimize the cut on the threads, but, but I like that. What do you guys think? That actually works out pretty perfectly, and that's too short. We could also make another one that's just the size of this one. That way, I think that's what we'll do because we still need to make tags anyway. So I think that's what we'll do. Okay. And then this is the middle page. And there's a pocket here to add this belly band here to go with this pocket and then we could decorate this. Okay. Alright, let's use this fancy schmancy. Um, now I don't know how I feel about using it on lace, but I guess we'll find out. Hello. Oh, comes out pretty nice. I mean, it's not hard to use. There's that. Um, and I lost my pen. There it is. Yeah, I'm going to need one of the pretty snancy ones. Okay. Just put you right there. I don't know how much glue to use. I'm not used to using this type of glue, or this glue rather. I can't imagine that it'd be any different than the other PVA glue that I use. Wait. All right. Um, not sure what we're gonna do on this side. These are too big. Yep, yep, too big. But we can put one on the back. We could definitely put one on the back. Okay. I'm gonna use up the rest of this glue. After I fling it on myself. What? My phone is dinging at me. There. Okay. Alright. And then let's see, we've still got two more. This one's kind of darker. I think that would be good. Not sure what's going on with this glue, but it's like really thin. And I haven't added water to it or anything. And it's not supposed to be that thin. Okay. 
this particular one is a thicker glue, kind of like um, the Turbo Tacky glue, which, by the way, for the record, I like that glue a lot, the Turbo Tacky. Um, and it's not that expensive either in comparison to some of your other PVA glues. Um, it's more expensive than this one, but it's easier to get and it's way less expensive than this one. Um, I think it's just all about your preference, you know? But I will say for the art glitter glue, it is easy to come out, that's for sure. All right. Let's see, what were we doing this one? All right, let's, I don't, I'm gonna have to look at that and figure out why it's so wet because it's not supposed to be that wet. I might have to mix it or something with the Turbo Tacky. Which I don't really see an issue with that because they're both PVA glues. I wouldn't go and mix Fabri-Tac with it. Because Fabri-Tac is an acetone based glue versus a water based glue. Which is why it needs the polish on most of y'all's nails because it is acetone based. Oh yeah, see that's like way better. All right. And then we have one more pocket to add. Um, let's see. I could put it on the back here. Right there. And then I would. Oh, then you could see it through. I mean, that would be cool. Let's do that. And then we have to count our pockets to see how many tags we need to make. All right. Oh, hold on. It's, uh, it's curved because of the way the signature is sitting, so I'm going to take it out so I can lay it down flat. Okay. All right. So is about it. All right. Okay, so in 30 minutes, we've managed to finish our cover. It's drying. It's going to be drying for a while because it's got E6000 on it, so it has to dry. Uh, it, the E6000 cures in 24 hours. Like, it'll be dry enough to work with in, like, an hour. Um, let's see. We put the rest of our pockets and belly bands in which is amazing. Oh, and I tried out the art glitter glue. So, yay. So that's it for today's video. Um, tomorrow I will most likely be doing another collage sheet in order to make some tags. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.